Hello and welcome to your energy and star sign reading for the months of March 2022 for the sign of Cancer. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share because it helps me grow the channel. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Cancerians, are you ready? What we will do is we will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you for the months of March 2022. Before we then go into your emotional core, see what, what's happening with love and, and maybe releasing some old shit, if that makes sense, right? Before we then go into opportunities, and opportunities oftentimes have to do with whatever it is that sustains you sort of financially, right? But I say this with, in, with inverted brackets because I only work here, and even though I try to divide the reading loosely, um, just because you, you, you just get a bit more out of it. Um, I only work here and, and things are all very interconnected. So might not necessarily be uh, able or might not necessarily be possible to divide everything uh, that black and white. Anyway, shall we have a look at your overall energy for the months of March 2022? Here we go. Cancerians. Remember, Cancerians, you're the only star sign... <clears throat> of all 12 star signs that is governed by the moon. And so you are by default a being <clears throat> that is um, almost, because you have, you have free will, but the, while there is an analytical side to you, you are a much more emotional person. And so what you feel is what informs your choices, right? And so, just remember this. You have the Coco Pelli, the Demiurge. Let me just show this guy to you. Right? And you have the Sacred Tree. All they're saying to you in the month of March is to let play out whatever plays out without any... Uh, without putting any... It sounds wrong. It's almost like... Put no thought into it, into it. But it sounds. It, it, it. I don't mean it that way. It just feels like you know. Don't mm, look at stuff and then get to the, to the wrong conclusions. You have to go with the flow a little bit here. And the demi urge has this little. As you can see, the little flute here, and what that says is that be calm, right? Breathe, you know. So. Energetically speaking, there is a, is a flute that plays for your energy, right? Um, so it's all about understanding in March, we will send you a lot of healing, right? The universe will send you a lot of healing because the outgoing energy for the um, overall energy for the months of March 2022 for the sign of cancer is the sacred tree. So what they're saying is, we just want you to stay connected, right? Whatever it is you're going through, mm, may leave you slowly. So I feel my feeling is for cancerians that you're going through a lot of up not I think you're coming out of upheaval actually. You're not the way they show it to me is not you're not in upheaval in March. <coughs> but you're letting go of shit. Right? There's stuff that needs to leave you. <coughs> and you probably get a bit more when you actually get to your um to your emotions. <coughs> but because you have the sacred tree, all they're saying is remember you are connected to a lot of other beings you are not as alone as you feel but you also have to understand unless you meet like-minded people life will always feel a bit strange right so ultimately main message for cancerians in the months of march 2022 is to remain calm right no matter what life throws at you remain calm and let things play out right don't put too much emphasis behind oh my god this need to work or or why has this happened to me? Don't overthink. Really, another important thing about you Cancerians is to realize that you 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 have a tendency to overthink. But because your your um, depiction as a sign is a crab, and so when things get too much, you want to hide in crevices, <laughs> and um, that's not always possible for you to literally remove yourself. And all they're saying is. You don't have to remove yourself. Just remember that you're not as alone as you feel and reach out to like-minded people. What I'm getting strongly for Cancerians, though, in the month of March, is that this is a month where you are actually asked to let go of what isn't working and maybe um, 
say to the guides, say to the universe, you know, you know, help me, help me start over here, okay? But say it gently, there's no rush, okay? Let's go into your uh, emotional core. Let's see what we got. Very cool. You have the kingfisher. See this guy? Look what a beautiful depiction this is. Unfortunately, um, this deck came to me in 2004, 2005. It's called Animal Spirits Knowledge Cards. That's all it says. I have no box, so I don't know who made it and stuff. But um, this was the first deck that ever came to me because I used to do readings without cards. Um, anyway, look at the kingfisher, how beautiful it is. This is about your emotions, Cancerians. And the kingfisher, the hummingbird, and the woodpecker are the three animals when it comes to animal guides that have the same message. And the message is, no matter what happens to you emotionally, you will just be fine. So no matter how crooked the tree is, right? the, the tree is your life, the kingfisher can work it. You are safe. Trust how you feel, trust your emotions, but also go with the flow. Right? My feeling is also uh, for Cancerians is to acknowledge your vulnerability. I feel like you, you, you uh, and this is a thing that Cancerians actually do. You sometimes even pretend you're strong because you feel you can't afford <laughs> not to be and all the universe is saying you know that's a that's a that's a mechanism that you have there to protect yourself right when you are with the right people you can allow to show your vulnerability because that ultimately is what helps you heal the most okay let's look at opportunities as they come to you in the month of march we're looking at the sign of cancer you are watching thomas's tarot page please like subscribe and share and if you like my work please buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's by me coffee.com forward slash medium thomas with regards to opportunities you have the shaman of courage in order for new things for you to or to come to you and therefore to work you have to step out of your comfort zone you have to say maybe the things i i've done before weren't quite as fulfilling and maybe and this is the way they give it to me it feels like you may think you're not good enough. I don't know enough, well, uh, you know. And all the universe is saying that doesn't that that's not how it works, right? So you could have literally, sounds wrong, no skills or or no no record to speak of that that shows what you're capable of, and yet by now you must have figured out you must have figured out that you can do quite a lot of stuff, right? Given the opportunity. So what they're saying to you is you have the shaman of courage. Go for stuff you haven't done before. Don't worry about it, right? Um, there's this guy, what's his name? Uh, Richard Branson. <laughs> I heard of him when I was a child because, um, you know, I remember Tangerine Dream, um, electronic band in the 70s. Um, they were signed by Virgin Records, which was sort of his thing. Anyway, I read in an interview somewhere with him. I don't know why he comes into my head, but if he comes into my head, the universe wants me to, to talk about that quote that I read. And the quote that I read, long story short, um, he said, best thing to do is when someone asks you, can you do that job? Is to say yes, and then worry about it when you have secured that job. In a roundabout way, I'm paraphrasing here. The point the guides are making is, right, step out of your comfort zone, and if you want opportunities for, uh, for you, then go for stuff you haven't done before, right? And, and you know, and then you will notice that you actually can you can grow in to situations even though you haven't dealt with them before. Anyway, Cancerians, that all we got for the months of March 2022, please, 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 what I'm getting as well is for you to be good to yourself, right? Understand that. Um, I do believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, I do believe that it's time for you Cancerians to actually say, my life has to start following better patterns. Right, that's what I'm getting is to follow better, whatever that means, better patterns, right? So make choices and try to stick with it and, 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 and make things work that are, that are presenting themselves to you <clears throat> and don't dwell on the past. That's nothing that I'm getting with Cancerians strongly this month. <clears throat> the past is the past, right? Don't dwell on it. Create a new now, create a new tomorrow, which is why you have the shaman of courage, right? You are courageous, right? Everything will, will work out. Okie dokie. See you soon. Bye-bye.